What's up, family? This is Caden with Black Finance, and today we are going to talk about the top three reasons why the Black community is so poor, and some of the things that we can do to change it. On this channel, we talk about tips and tricks to help you build wealth and become financially savvy. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video. Did I say subscribe already? Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Here are the top three reasons why the Black community is so poor. Reason number one, the black community is poor because we do not have enough business owners. Most communities, when they come to America, the first thing they do is establish an economic base. They start creating barbershop, grocery stores, they open 7-Elevens, they create retail outlets, and restaurants. All the basic amenities that they may need as a community. Some did it because at the time it was difficult to find work in a majority white society but most because this allowed them to employ members of their community that probably would not go on to receive a higher education and who would otherwise remain unemployed. See, while there were times in American history why black people did focus on building their own business, after integration, most of the efforts were placed on politics and getting a corporate job. Mm -hmm. While a landscaping business owner or construction business owner could easily make a take-home pay well in the six figures, and at the same time employ members of their community, this type of work was replaced by the black professional, who at times make a lot less, sometimes fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year, and did not employ any members of their community. Also, the black professional and college graduate quickly became more of a status symbol within the black community, kind of making it less likely that people will go out and start their own business. Regardless of the level of income you're able to generate as a business owner, you can have an MBA with no money in the bank and probably be held in higher regard than the man who owns his own carpenter business with a million dollar net worth. To change this, the black community must focus on developing businesses if they ever hope to become wealthy as a community one day. The second reason the black community is so poor is because we do not support the few black businesses that we do have. In the book, The Jewish Phenomenon by Steven Silberger, he said, take care of your own and they will take care of you. He talks about a Jewish belief that if your group depends on the funding of others, it will be subordinate to that funding group. Because of many of the hardships that the Jewish people have faced, they have developed a sense of economic responsibility for each other, where they pride themselves in forming communities and supporting each other businesses. They know that their shared survival might depend on it one day and are determined not to relive any of their past mistakes. There's a lot that the black community can learn from the Jewish community. Support your community, and your community will one day be in a position to support you. This isn't to say that you hate on anyone else's community. Quite the opposite. But when your group does not have any economic power, people will take advantage of you. All the shooting of black people by police officers could be tied back to the lack of economic power within the black community. There is very little repercussion today for killing a black person. That's because most cops know that they can't probably afford a good lawyer to fight the system. If black people are to move from the highest unemployment rate and from one of the poorest racial groups, they need to start focusing on creating businesses and supporting each other. And the third reason why the black community and black people in general are so poor is because they spend their money on the wrong things. The black spending power is reported to be $1.5 trillion, which is more money than I can imagine. Most of this goes into housing, about 37%, which is understandable. But black people spend twice as much on their clothes than they do on their education. And this is not surprising. According to a Bureau of Labor Statistics report, black people spend more on their clothes, more on entertainment, more on their cars than they do on their education. And according to the book, The Jewish Phenomenon, the idea that Jewish people are cheap is far from the truth. Jewish people are the cornerstone of hard book sales, accounting for between 50 and 75 percent of non-institutional hardcover sales in the United States, essentially saying they spend money on books. They also invest a lot into their education. It's one of the expenses that they are willing to spend big bucks on. They also understand that after getting a formal education, 
The goal isn't just to work for corporate America, but it's to take the skills that they learn from corporate America and one day start their own business within their community and employ members of their community through the business. To sum this up, the black community is poor because we don't have enough business owners. The black community is poor because we don't support each other businesses. And the black community is poor because we spend money on things that do not give us any return. A lot of this information comes from two books I highly recommend. The first is Black Economics by Jawanza Kanjufu. And the second is The Jewish Phenomenon by Steven Silberger. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the page if you haven't already. As always, live your best life.